Jared, there's little doubt it's been a rough 2021 for Melvin Capital, but the firm at the center of that GameStop saga is starting to turn things around in February. We've learned from four sources familiar with the matter that Melvin posted returns of 21.7 percent in the month of February. Those double-digit gains came after losses of 53 percent in January on some wrong-way short bets. The performance and some inflows brought assets under management from $8 billion at the end of January to nearly $11 billion by March 1st. A source close to Melvin tells me that there hasn't really been any massive changes to strategy. They're focused on ensuring that their short positions have ample liquidity so they don't get stuck again in the event of a squeeze. Additionally, I'm told they'll have more but smaller short positions, uh, which limits their exposure to certain names. Their long side remains unchanged, I'm told. The firm declined to comment on performance. Melvin had said previously, though, that it closed out its GameStop short position in January. That holding, of course, is what initially caught the ire of the Reddit crowd put positions disclosed toward the end of 2020, making Melvin and its founder Gabe Plotkin a common enemy for the GameStop bulls. Now, afterward, Plotkin found himself ensnarled in the web of GameStop, even appearing before Congress, Congress a few weeks ago as lawmakers sought to unpack what led to the volatility in certain stocks. As Melvin struggled in January, two other hedge funds, Point72 and Citadel, invested $2.75 billion to help Melvin stabilize. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.